Hey guys, today I'll be giving out another tutorial by yours truly. Today we'll be going to get the Squirtle Bottle from the Gardener. That's right. No, not this character right over here. She's just gambling her money on the casino. We're gonna go over to the Gardener that's right next to the gym. But you need to have the plane badge. You need to beat Whitney in order to get this particular item. So, we're gonna go over to the gym right here. We already beat the gym. And we go over to this gardener right here. See? There's the gardener. You talk to her, and she'll tell you, oh, you beat the plane, you got the planes badge. So that means she'll give you the squirtle bottle that you need to get through the tree which is Pseudo Udo in the original copy. And originally you had to fight Pseudo Udo and that would be your option to capture it. But there it is, the Squirtle Bottle. It's in my inventory. So, in the original you got to fight Pseudo Udo and capture it or try to capture him. But in the new copy of Pokemon Planet, you just pretty much walk right through as if it's kind of like the same thing with Snorlax with the Poke Flute. If you have the Poke Flute and you go to the area where Snorlax was in Pokemon Planet, you wouldn't really necessarily have to fight him. Which I really wanted to fight him because then you can capture him and you can use him on the Pokemon League, which would have been fun. But I guess the makers of Pokemon Planet, they didn't want to add. Snorlax as an option because then everybody would have Snorlax in their team. Which makes perfect sense. But I, I wanted to make sure so I grabbed some Ultra Balls out of the marketplace and I wanted to make sure that I that if it was a battle then I would be prepared. So we head on up right through this pathway. We're gonna be heading over to the next city. That's right, because the tree is out of the way, since we got the Squirtle Bottle. It just skipped ahead a little bit. We're gonna go over here. And as you can see, he is gone. The tree is gone, but you don't have to fight him. Just the fact that he's gone, he's not in that area, you can just cross over and go to the cities. In Johto. Gonna move on up. Oh, here comes our first trainer. All right. What type of Pokemon do you have? Man, now I'm jealous. She's got a Dratini. I like Dratinis. Dratinis are rare. I really need a Dratini badly. I want to train it so it becomes a Dragonair. That'll be my next order of business with the global marketplace because that way I can see if I can buy some for for a good price and see if I can get a good routine. An Eevee. Man, this trainer has some rare Pokemon. And she's Discharge. I can't believe it. Yeah, but I'm going to be training a new team of Pokemon pretty soon for Johto because every region you go to, it gets a little bit harder to get a good team assembled. So I'm going to assemble a new team for the Johto League just to make sure I can get through it. And I'm going to be earning some money, so I'm going to, I'm going to be mining a lot, especially with mining. I'm already level 20 because I there was a... It was a particular blessing at the time that gave me mining experience, so I managed to tackle all that right off the bat. I figured, why not tackle two birds with one stone with mining? And since I can mine, I can get some more money, and I can actually buy some Pokemon in this this particular game. Because mining means a lot in, in Pokemon Planet, if you don't believe it. There are tutorial videos out there that will explain that mining is very important in Pokemon Planet. 
So we're gonna go right through these trainers, right off this Pidgeot. Like so. That's right, Alakazam is psychic moves. Alright. And we are officially in the new city. Alright. I don't know how to pronounce it, so I'm gonna just call it City of Letter E because it starts off with the letter E, so. I can't really pronounce it. <laughs> so we're gonna travel on through, check out the area. I haven't really played like silver and gold in ages, so I don't really remember too much of the maps. And with Pokemon Planet's updates, it looks so much different because they've changed the layout of the caves. I have the strategy book, so I can I have a few strategy books, I don't have them all, but I have a few strategy books that explain where to go. So I'm just checking out how they've remodeled everything and they've remodeled a lot, especially with the caves and it makes it harder because I can't tell where to go in, in the original books in comparison to the updates, but it's okay. I, I like finding out things and solving puzzles and going through caves, so it's okay. So, we are officially in the new city, and that's how you get through Sudowoodo, or the tree in the middle of Route 36. Simply by talking to a gardener, and like Snorlax, you don't have to fight it. It's just there just to block your path. But after you get the planes badge, you can go right through it. Alright guys, well until next time.